morning. Um, my name is Maricar. Some of you know me as Christina. I am shooting this video from Auckland and um, I'd like to share with you my morning practice which is basically a get up and go um, which is struggling with the heaviness of the body from morning um, and then trying to get the body awakened for what to do during the day. So a lot of the challenges is really trying to um, find the resistances of the body, accepting them, and then just watching them and witnessing these resistances possibly shift throughout the entire class. So I'm going to put a little bit of music um, just to get the flow going. And, um, and the key about yoga in any practice is the ability to listen. And, um, and so it will... I will do my best to be as clear and as concise and as descriptive as possible and where I can demonstrate I will but if you don't get it right it's absolutely fine because there's no one else watching <laughs> so um, in tonight today's class I ask that you try to listen um, and then you try to look if you feel you're uncertain and then you just go with the flow um, today we'll be working on the hips, the shoulders, and a lot of the breath. So like any yoga practice, we start with our breath. And so you're going to have a bolster. If you don't have a bolster, grab any pillow, um, like a long pillow, like a bonbon. Grab a blanket, any type of blanket, as long as it's folded properly. And you're going to have a mat. And if you don't have a mat, then use the carpet or the floor, but earmark a border. Um, borders are very um, um, restrictive initially, but uh, finding space within the border is quite liber liberating. So find the blanket, fold them. You're going to place them at the end of the um, mat, and that's where your shoulders are going to be. And then you're going to have your bolster, which will mimic the length of your thoracic spine, your middle back, all the way to your tailbone and your bum. And then you're going to need a block and a strap and if you don't have a block grab a really thick book if you don't have a strap grab the belt of a robe or an old belt that you might have all right and we're going to set them on the side you're going to sit at the center of the bolster you're going to have your feet as wide as the mat you're going to hold on to your knees first and see where you can find the tips of your shoulder blades and that's the bra line that will fall at the edge of the bolster so that the shoulder blades are going to be on the floor. So you're mimicking a back bend. So you're gonna find the tips of your shoulder blades, find it at the edges of the bolster, snuggle, and then lift the back of your head. If you have a ponytail, that's gonna tweak your head, let the head go, let the hair go. And then you bring your arms to the side, see where it's comfortable for you. And then you're gonna scoop your tailbone forward. Now you're going to know if you're doing it right or wrong if you're too high, you're going to find your chin is higher than your forehead. If you're too low, you're going to round your neck. So find that little bit of effort from the bra line, the tips of the shoulder blades, so that you find your neck in its natural curve and that flat back of your head is resting on the blanket and then the arms go to the side. So notice if you're rolling the arms in, roll it out. So from the inner arms, roll the bicep up to the ceiling and then let the arms fall where they may. If it's uncomfortable in your lower back, scoop the tailbone, feet as wide as the mat, let the knees knock. Otherwise, you can keep your feet hip distance apart, feet facing forward, ankles underneath your knees so you're stable. Or if you feel that the hamstrings in the lower back are ready, you lengthen through the heels of your feet and then you let the inner thighs roll open. So find something where you can deal with that resistance, where the sensations are not too strong, and yet you feel enough that you can rest into it. All right, look up into the ceiling and zoom in to a point of focus above you to that blank wall, that your eyes directly like a laser beam are straight all the way to that point. And don't, you may lift your chin just a little bit, snuggle a little bit of the shoulder blades in, and then very gently closing your eyes. 
Now as you close your eyes, feel the weight of the body sink into the floor. So feel the back of the hands, the elbows, the triceps, feel it rest onto the floor. Feel the shoulder blades bear down onto the blanket. Feel the back of the head sink with the shoulders release. And then from that middle back, notice the weight of the body sinking more, that you start to feel an opening in the chest and maybe a resistance. And then feel the length of your spine from the bra line from the middle back all the way to the tailbone lengthen towards the edge of the bolster. And feel the weight of your feet sink down. So either the knees knock or the legs lengthen or the knees directly above the ankles. And then you feel that entire surface area on the top of the body. Feel a little bit of resistance, perhaps the belly, the inner thighs, the chest, the shoulders, and then use the weight of the arms to feel the opening in the chest, as if the sun were in the center of your chest where your heart is, and then allowing that raise around the sun to allow the front of your chest to open, that the weight of the body sinks deeper into the earth. And then as your eyes close, you find something in your face soften. You open and close your mouth, you move the jaw around, you move the muscles into your face, you squeeze the eyes, you move the mouth, and you start to feel the skin in your face awaken. And then you feel the back of your head get heavy. And then you soften your lips. And then you lengthen your tongue. No one's looking anyway. Feel the base of the tongue all the way to the back of the neck as you lengthen the tongue up to the ceiling, twirling the tongue from the base of the neck all the way turning clockwise and then pivoting, turning counterclockwise and then lengthening the tongue and then letting the tongue rest in the base of the mouth. Gently closing the lips without letting the teeth touch so the inner lips just gently touch one another so the lips are supple and soft and that you get the eyes heavy, the creases of the eyelids disappear, the cheeks soften. And so you start to feel the body surrender into the blanket, the bolster, the mat, the floor. And then you start to notice your breath, watching first the breath. So you start to feel the breath through the rising and the falling of the chest, noticing the belly rising, noticing perhaps the quality of your breath. and then starting to bring more mindful attention to your breath. As you inhale through your nose, you bring the breath into the belly, you feel the belly rise. You fill up both lungs, left and right, and then you fill up the top of your chest. And then as you exhale through your mouth, you draw from the belly going to the lower back. You feel the diaphragm lift to release, and you feel the lungs release all the breath as you exhale through your mouth. Ah. <sighs> And then you inhale through your inner nostril, bringing the breath into the belly, into the lower back, into the middle back, into the back of the neck, into the base of the skull, into the fullness of the chest that you feel yourself lift. And then as you exhale through your mouth, you hear your breath by contracting your base of your throat. And you control the release of the exhales as you exhale through your mouth. And then you inhale again, bringing the breath into the pit of the pelvis, into the belly rising, into the left and right side of the waist, the lungs, the back lungs, the top of the chest, the shoulders, the neck, and then you hold yourself full. And then as you exhale through your mouth, you draw the belly in. You feel the diaphragm release. You feel the chest open up and you release the last bit of breath as you exhale through your mouth. And then you inhale slowly, breathing into the belly, into the lungs, into the top of the chest, and into the entire back of the spine. And then you hold yourself full. This time you close your mouth. You keep the contraction in the base of your throat. You exhale slowly through your nose. And then you hold yourself empty at the bottom. And then inhale slowly. Breathing into the length of your spine, the front and back body, the left and right, the top and bottom, 
Then you hold yourself at the top. Then as you softly exhale through your nose, you draw the belly into the lower back. You feel the diaphragm just release. And you feel the opening and the weight of the arms open at the chest. And then you exhale slowly everything through your nose. And then you hold yourself empty. You watch yourself empty. And then you inhale again fully. Breathing, expanding, widening. Holding yourself full at the top. And then exhaling slowly. Holding yourself empty at the bottom. And then now on your own, doing the four parts of the breath, inhaling slowly through the inner nostril, holding at the top, and then exhale as you lift the pelvic floor, you draw the navel to the lower back, you let the diaphragm release and squeeze the lungs, and then you empty yourself all the way at the bottom and you hold yourself empty, and then you inhale. And then threading through four cycles of the breath, connecting them as if they were one cycle rather than four parts. And then noticing the back of the head sinking to the floor, the shoulders softening into the blanket, the opening from the center of the chest radiating across the spectrum of the rib cage into the back body. And then feeling that length of the spine rest into the bolster, the entire back body morphs itself into the shape of the bolster. The ease in the lower back, the weight of the heels of the feet or the feet on the floor. And just allowing yourself now to notice the face, Softening the jaw, the cheeks. Feeling the rising and the falling of the chest. And just allowing yourself to feel the sensations of the body as you control your breathing. And then very slowly lengthening your legs away from you. Pulling the heel of one foot, the other foot, pressing the ball of your feet forward, spreading the toes away from each other, and then pressing the thighs down to straighten the knee. And then reaching the left arm far and back from the socket of the eye of the shoulders all the way to the side of the waist, and then lengthening the right arm away from you, reaching them, then lifting them away from the floor so the biceps come in line with your ears. And then interlacing the fingers, pressing the palms away from you, and then drawing the belly in as you lengthen through the arms. And then very slowly bending the knees, keeping the right hand overhead, bring the left hand in your bellies. And then at your own time, roll over to the right side of the bolster, resting the side, right side of your head into your right arm, left hand in your belly, and using the weight of the arms to rest. And then very, very slowly with your left hand, you push down to the floor. You lengthen the left leg away from you. You press the left inner ankle down. And then as you press that left inner ankle in your left hand, you gently lift your head. And then you slowly come to the front of the bolster, sitting your bum into the bolster, crossing at your shins, flexing at your feet, sitting tall, and then pressing the hands on your thighs, lifting your chin, lifting your head, rolling the shoulders back, and then just aligning yourself where your hips are over, your shoulders, your ears over your hips. And then very, very slowly as you press your hands on your thighs, you draw your chin up, and then use very, very slowly Press the palms together into Namaste hands. Lift your heart. And then gently blink your eyes open. And then slowly release. And just feeling the practice, just feeling that breath work. Noticing perhaps the, um, the heart rate. 
Noticing the eyes, the softness of the cheeks. And then very, very slowly, just release. So that's 15 minutes of breathing and that's quite a lot of work. So you can continue to join the practice or if you need to go and move on, you can always come back to this class. Otherwise, if you wanna stay, we've got maybe a couple of uh, 40 minutes of a movement class, including Shavasana of seven minutes, where I'm going to play the gong, you're welcome to stay. Otherwise, I'll see you um, in the borders of the mat. All right. Those that are staying, you're gonna move your bolster to the right side of the mat. You're gonna keep the blanket in the center of the mat. The block in the front of the mat and you're gonna need your strap later. All right, I'm gonna play some music and we shall flow. So everybody have your mat set up, have your blankets and we shall move. So very slowly, curl your toes, coming into your knees, wrists above your shoulders, hands, shoulder distance apart, keeping the toes curled, we're going to go through our cat and cow, inhale, you curl the tailbone, you press, press the curling of your toes, you spread the sit bones, you draw your belly down, you squeeze your shoulder blades, you look to the nose and you arch your back. As you exhale, you press your toes, you curl the tailbone, you draw the belly in, you let the head drop, and then you shake your head. As you shake your head, feel the length of each side of your neck. Open and close your mouth. Release the jaw. And then very slowly, you press your buttocks into your heels. You flex your hips, you let the forearms reach the floor, you curl, you spread the sit bones, draw the belly down, press into the hands, look to your nose, and then you neutralize. Head down, belly in, hands shoulder distance apart. Inhale, exhale around, curl, chin to chest, buttocks towards your heels, forearms reach the floor, spread the sit bones. Arch the back, press into the index finger and the thumb, look to your nose, draw the belly into neutral. Picking up the speed, exhale. Feel each of your vertebra from the tailbone to the base of your skull curl. Inhale, open up. Spread those sit bones, press, curling the toes, look up, go back to neutral. Exhale. Inhale. Picking up speed, exhale. Inhale, press every corner of the tannin. And control it all the way to the base of your neck. Two more. Don't forget to breathe. All right. And then slowly come to neutral. right foot to the outside of the right hand. You're going to lift your toes and you're going to pivot through the heel of your foot. Your second toe lines up with your knee. And what you're trying to do is get to that thigh bone, that thick femur bone as you round out. Inhaling slowly exit. So small circles. You're actually moving from the heel of your foot. The knee opens up and you start to feel it in your glutes and your inner thighs. back, the 
and use your breath. No breaths. And then we're gonna go deeper. You plant the right foot down, you move the fur, left knee further back. You keep the toes curled for safety. You move that right foot forward, so you scooch it forward, you lift the toes. Inhale, you lunge forward. Feel the stretch from the inner thighs, and then you round out and very slowly straighten the legs. Exhale. Inhale, lunge forward, control the knee rounding out. Exhale, straighten. Inhale. Exhale, straighten. Inhale. Exhale, straighten. And then you round in. Inhale, you lunge. You round in. Exhale. So starting to feel the hamstrings attached to the sit bones. And starting to feel how the quads, the tops of the thighs, straighten the knee. Slowly. And starting to feel the inner thighs. And starting to feel that right leg is connected to that left leg somehow when I lunge. All right. So move the right foot back for stability. Bring the left knee back underneath the left hip. Swing the right knee back. Move the right hand back. Swing the hips. Draw the belly in and feel that lower back, the difference between the right hip and the left. All right, bring the left hand slightly in, step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Lift the toes. And as you inhale, you lunge forward, small circles, round out. So really slow. And notice the second toe tracking to the center of the shin, the knee. And so that you're really rolling and accessing that left inner thigh. Breathe. And then you roll in. So it's like you're figuring out the shape of your thigh bone and the shape of that socket where it's attached to. And some of you might hear a click. So that's just bone rubbing against the surface of the other bone. All right, and then you're gonna go further. You're gonna bring the right knee further back, keep the toes curled. Bring the left foot forward, lift the toes. Lunge forward, and you'll feel the stretch in your right hip flexors. Inhale, exhale, round out, straighten the legs slowly. Inhale, run. Exhale. And use the stability of the shoulders so you can relax somehow knowing that you're stable and try not to round two out what you want to do is slowly discover all right and then you're going to lunge forward round in that left foot back, bring the right knee back underneath the right hip, left knee back, left hand back, swing the hips, draw the belly in. All right, I think it's time to move. You remove your blankets to the side. First pose, child's pose. The go-to pose of all poses, the best pose. Big toes touch. Knees slightly wider than your hips. Sink. Let the side ribs touch the thighs for stability. Crawl your hands forward, wake up the shoulders. Forehead down into the floor or not. Now the key here is to get length from the right hip all the way to the right fingertips. So really lengthen away. Press every single finger down, index finger facing forward. Thumbs trying to reach each other and start with a wider shoulder first. Pressing the index finger and the thumb, think of the inner arm, so one close to your ears, roll them open and then press through the inner arms. And then straight and then try to feel the length of the lower back. Yep, flex those hips. Press the tops of your feet, that pinky toe, as much as the big toe and the toes in between. All right, child's pose. Anytime you need to take a break, 
anytime you need to rest or anytime you just want to do it. Take a child's pose. It's a pose. It's part of the practice. Inhale, look forward. Move the hands, shoulder distance apart. Curl the toes. Lift the knees off the floor. Feel the belly work. Do a steep incline first with the hands. So really push, as if your hands were glued, push the mat forward. Left, lift the forearms. Hips go up, sit bones go to the back of the room, and then you walk the dog. Get a sense of where the hamstrings are. So mine are tight, haven't moved this morning. Walking, and when you walk, feel the heel and the ball and the toes. Feet hip distance apart. Second toe in line with the center of the knee. Push the mat forward even more. Lift the sit bones. And then press the tops of your one thigh back. And then bend the knee. Lift the sit bones. Come into the heels of your feet. Push the mat. Ears in line with your biceps. Straighten the right leg. Press the tops of the thigh, the heel of the right foot. Lift the toes of the right foot. One more time. Other side. Bend the right knee gently. Straighten the left leg. Heel goes down, toes go up, top of the thigh, presses back. And then slowly looking forward. If your legs are straight and you're rounding your back, choose the path of least harm. Heels go up, bend your knees, push the mat, and try to let the heels reach the floor. Down dog. And then breathe. Inhale, look forward. Move the plank, top for push up. The heels push back. The thighs push up, the belly lifts, the chest reaches forward, you gaze a foot away from the mat, inhale here, exhale, down dog, bending the knees first, inhale, lift the right leg up, From the, press the heel of the right foot, keep the hips neutral, from the right inner thigh, roll it open, lift that leg, Bend that knee, heel the bum. And then breathe from that right inner thigh to the right knee. The heel touches the bum. Breathe into the right hip and the right lung. With control, straighten the legs. Exhale, round it back to neutral. Three-legged dog. Inhale, bend your right knee to your chest. Round it back. Step through. Ankle above the knee, bring the left knee down. Come into your fingertips. Right thumb, scoop the right buttock under, lift the belly, left arm forward, right arm forward, interlace your fingers behind the head, open up the elbows, and then release the left toes, inhale, slowly rise. Now you're going to lean forward, and then you're going to push up, tailbone down, belly up, open up the elbows. Inhale, release the arms. Exhale, twisting. Keeping the arms in line with your ears. Inhale, lift the belly. Press that left hip back. Exhale, go deeper. Left hand on your right knee. Right hand on your back. With your right hand, draw the tailbone down. Lift the belly up. Press the hand into the knee. Open up that left shoulder. Look over your right shoulder. Breathe. Go deeper in the knee. Extend the right arm, extend the left arm, and then back to neutral. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands on the floor. Curl the back toes, straighten the back leg. Press the left heel back, press the left thigh up, round the back slightly. Push, step back into plank. Neutralize the spine. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing here. Feet hip distance apart, second toe in line with the center of your knee. Lift the sit bones, draw the belly in. Look between the legs. On your next inhale, from the left big toe to the left inner thigh, lift that left leg up. Keep it neutral, flex that foot. From the inner left thigh, roll it open. Lift that leg. Bend that heel to your bum. Push that knee even higher, open up the chest. Breathe through that left lung. The left shoulder, the left inner thigh. Straighten the legs. Inhale. Exhale. Neutral three-legged dog. 
Inhale here, exhale, bend that left knee to your chest, round that back, step it through. Ankle underneath your knee, come to your fingertips, bring the right knee down. With your left hand, scoop the left buttock under into the midline. Right arm forward, left arm forward, reach. Interlace your fingers the funky way where the other thumb is on top. Open up the elbows, squeeze, and then inhale, rise. Lunging forward first, and then slowly draw the tailbone, lift the frontal hip bones up. Arms up. Three, stay here. Restore the music. And then very slowly, turning to the left. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right hand on the left knee, left hand on your lower back. Rub the tailbone down, lift the belly up, knee into the hand, hand into the knee, twist. And find that balance by dragging that left foot to your right knee. Breathe in here. Release the left arm, biceps up. Release the right arm. Look forward. Inhale. Reach up. Hands on the floor. Curl the back toes, straighten the back leg. Now we're coming forward, so you can come into your fingertips. Press the right heel back, reach the right thigh up, inhale. Exhale, step to the palms of your mat. Feet hip distance apart, bend your knees. Grab your calves, drop your head. Shake your head, let it go. Let the jaw release. And then slowly hug the belly to your thighs. And then slowly lift the sit bones, keep squeezing. Let the head drop, let the jaw drop. And then close the lips. Inhale. Exhale, lift the toes, lift the sit bones. Use the quads to straighten the knee. Breathe. And then slowly, hands on the sides of your legs. Reach your chest. Press the inner ankle out into those outer shins. Breathe. Bend your knees again. Grab your calves. Drop your head. Lift the toes. Exhale. Straighten the legs. And then inhale. You rise. Reach your arms up. Hands touch above you. Hands to prayer. Hands to the side. Sun salutes. C. Feet hip distance apart. Second toe line with the center of your knee, your shin. Thighs press back, belly lifts. Hold on to your floating ribs or the lowest ribs you can find. Lift the side of your waist, draw the belly in like a percent. And then slowly lift the back of your head with the thumbs and the base of your skull. Open up the elbows to the sides of the room. Reach the chest. Adjust the gaze, chin parallel to the floor. Arms to the side. Inhale, reach your arms up. Press the palms if they can. Exhale, bring your hands to your chest, hinging at the hips. Strapping the knee over the second toe when you fold. Grabbing your calves, drop your head. Exhale, straighten your legs. Inhale, hands to the outsides as long as the inner thighs reach out. Reach your chest. Exhale, hands on the floor. Let the fingertips drop. Drop your head. Exhale, straighten your legs. Inhale, you slowly rise. Reach the arms all the way up. Feel the four corners of your feet. Look up to your hands. Hands to prayer. Hands to the side. Inhale, arms up, reach. Exhale, hinging from the hips, folding. Sit bones go high, fingertips on the floor. Drop your head. Exhale, straighten your legs. Inhale, keep the fingertips on the floor, reach your chest. Keep reaching forward, hands flat onto the floor, step your right foot back. Keep it long, heel reaches back, thigh presses up. Bring the right knee down, release the right toes, arms forward, and then you rise. Lifting the belly, tailbone down, interlace your fingers, reach. Exhale, twist to the left. Hand on your knee, hand on your back. Inhale, twist. Inhale, looking forward, arms up, reach. 
pop the thumbs, pull the thumbs apart, lift the side of your waist, coil into your back bend. Come underneath the shoulder blades, the sternum reaches up to the ceiling. Lift up, keep the arms in line with your ears, inhale, exhale, hands on the floor. Curl the back toes, straighten the back leg, come to plank. Both heels push back, the thighs push up, the belly lifts, inhale, exhale, down dog. Feet hip distance apart, look between the legs, breathe. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, move to three-legged plank, keep looking forward. Exhale, bend that right knee to your chest, step it through. Come into your fingertips, left knee down. You're hugging that right hip in as you bring the arms forward, and then you rise. Lifting the belly, tailbone down. Interlace the fingers the funky way. Lift, open the elbows, twist. Hand on your knee, hand on your back. Lift the belly, tailbone down, twist. Inhale, look forward, arms up. Hook the other thumb, pull the thumb, reach up. Lift from underneath the shoulder blades, where the bolster was earlier, it's a coil. Reach up. Hands on the floor, you're coming forward, so you can come into your fingertips. Curl the back toes, keep that leg straight behind you. Inhale, as you exhale, step it forward. Inhale, fingertips, reach your chest. Exhale, bend your knees, let it go before you straighten your legs. Feel the grounding of your feet on your inhale. You push up, you root into the earth, you rebound, you lift up. You look up, hands to prayer, close your eyes. Bring your left hand on your heart, right hand on your belly. And feel that rhythm of your heart. And then focus the mind on the breath. Inhaling slowly through the inner nostril into the belly. Filling the entire body up that you feel it all the way to the space of your toes. Keeping that lift as you exhale. You lift the pelvic floor. The belly draws in. The diaphragm releases. You release the breath through your nose. Inhaling, feeling the belly rise as you feel the right hand lift. All the way to the left hand lifting. Exhaling, letting it go. The right hand sinks. The left hand sinks. Two more. And keep your eyes open. Hands to the side. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale. Holding, straightening the legs. Inhale, reach your chest. Hands flat onto the floor, step the left foot back. Keep it far and back, bring the left knee down. Release the toes, arms forward, hug that right knee in. And then you rise. Inhale, twisting to the right. Lift the belly, tailbone down. Broad into the collarbones. Looking forward, inhale. Exhale, release. Hooking the thumbs, back bend. And going deep into the stretch of that left inner thigh by dragging that right foot to the left foot. Exhale, hands on the floor. Flatten the hands, curl the back toes. Keep that left leg long and straight. Step into plank. Neutralize the spine. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Move to three-legged plank. Keep that leg long. Inhale here. Exhale, knee to nose. Step it through. Right knee down, come into your fingertips, release right toes for stability. Hug that left hip in. Arms forward. Arms in line with your ears. Inhale from the belly, you rise. Inhale, lift the belly, tailbone down. Twist to the left. Hand on your knee, hand on your back. Use that to draw the belly to that hand, hand to the knee to open up that right shoulder. Lift the back of your skull. Exhale, twist. Inhale, look forward, arms up. Hook the other thumb, thoracic coil. Elbows lift, even if they're bent. Reach from underneath the shoulder blades, lift the sternum up. 
three. Exhale, hands on the floor. If you're stepping forward, come with your fingertips. Back leg is straight. With momentum, inhale, exhale, step forward. Reach your chest. Exhale, bend your knees, fingertips on the floor. You fold as you straighten your legs. And then with the strength of the legs, inhale, you rise, you stack the knees over the hips, the vertebra, the arms lift, hands touch. Exhale, hands to prayer, gazing forward, hands to the side. Breathe in and breathe out. All right. Grabbing your block. And then you're going to bend your left knee, step it out. And then you're going to bring your block behind the heel of your right foot. Arm to the side. From deep. So if you look at your wrists, oops, I have to squat low. Wrists above your ankles. All right, pigeon toes slightly. Hands on your hip crease. From deep within the right thigh, rotate the right thigh out. So that right thigh rotates. The knee, the shin, and the toe faces forward. The back foot, turn that in. So the hips are facing this way. You lift the belly, and then the spine twists. Left arm reaches back, right arm reaches forward. You look at your right knee and you bend it, tracking the knee over the second toe. So it's the inner thigh that opens up the hip, but you press the big toe. The inner left thigh presses back. The edge of the left foot is sealed and you're in warrior two. To feel that psoas, the muscle that holds us together from the lower to the upper body, right foot to the left foot, drag them towards each other and breathe, warrior two. And then you reach forward, keep the right side of your waist long, bring the right hand on the block, highest level. Press the hand into the block, rotate the right ribs forward, left ribs up, keep that right hip hugging in, press that left thigh, control the spine, lift the left arm up. And rotate the palm to the front of the room, bring the arm up and over, side angle, going deep. Keep the right waist long, come into your fingertips. Keep the back knee up as you rise up, warrior two. And then you straighten the right leg. You feel the top of the right thigh press back. You hinge. You keep that right waist long as far as you can. You extend that palm, reach it. You find the block, place up on the outside. You straighten that leg, you open up that right thigh. You rotate the ribs. You reach, triangle, breathe. Trying to drag the right foot to the left foot. Exhale, look down, you bend the right knee over the right ankle. You think of that left inner knee, the outside edge of the left foot, as you come back up into warrior two. Straighten the right leg, hands on your hips, turn both feet in. Block on the outside edge of the left foot. From deep within the left inner thigh, you rotate that left thigh out. Knee, shin, second toe in line. Back foot 45 degrees. So inner right knee lifts, outside edge of the right foot. Lift the toes, wake up the calf muscles. So the hips are facing here. The side of the waist supports the lower back. The thoracic opens up. The right arm reaches back, you look past your middle finger, you look to the left, and then you bend the left knee. Knee over the ankle, drag that left foot to your right foot, open up that left hip, feel the right inner knee press back, open up the chest, look over your left middle finger, and then you slowly breathe. You keep your left waist long as you reach, keep that left waist so long, Hand goes to the block, press the block. Open up the left ribs, right ribs, the thigh opens, back leg, reach the arm up. Let the palm reach up and over your ears. And then breathe. Go deep, long breaths. And then slowly you reach the top arm back up. You look down, you think of the back knee and the back arm, you rise up, warrior two, soft shoulders. You straighten the left leg. You reach far forward, as far as you can. You hinge from that left hip. 
and then you extend that left arm reach it open up hand on the block and then reach the top arm up and reach left ribs forward right ribs up that left inner thigh rolls open and reach triangle keep the back arm and the back leg where they are look down bend the knee directly over the ankle lead with the back arm and the back leg come back up warrior two hands on your hips straighten the left leg turn both feet in all right then slowly you're going to bend your knees and you're going to squat low you're going to feel the sit bone spread you're going to sink low you're going to grab your block and you're going to keep it underneath your face and then on your inhale, you move the block forward, shoulders over your wrists. And then slowly, you lift the sit bones. You try to straighten your legs. And then you bend to one side. Back to center. You bend to the other side and feel that right inner thigh lift. Back to center, one more. Back to center, sit bones up. Exhale. All right, reach your chest, and then exhale, bend. Squeeze the sides of your waist and your thighs, hands on the floor, shoulder distance. Drop your head, look between the legs. Shake your head, let the head go. Hands shoulder distance apart, elbows above your wrists, and then slowly press the index finger and the thumb. Try to widen the mat. Exhale, try to straighten the legs. And then try to push the mat forward with the hands. Let the sit bones go higher. You flex your hips much more. You let the head go and you keep the shoulders wide. You breathe into the back of the neck. Lift the sit bones, tops of the thighs, straighten the legs. And then inhale, you look forward, you walk your hands into the block. Right hand on the block, move the block underneath your face, left hand on your hip. Inhale, you lengthen your chest forward, keeping that lower back in place, twisting to the left. And then you open up that left arm. You keep the arms in line with your ears. You reach the top arm up. Breathe. And as if the right hand were glued onto the block, push the block to the right and you get deeper into the twist. Exhale, look down into the block. Left hand goes where the right hand is. Right hand in your lower back. Bend the knees a little bit first. Lift your belly to your chin forward, lengthen. And then slowly straighten your legs, twisting to the right. Keeping the hand on your lower back. Open up from the center of your chest to the left collarbone, to the left shoulder. Adjust the head. Shoot the top arm up. And as if the left hand were glued onto the block, try to swipe the block to the left and get deeper into the twist. Keeping the hips neutral. Breathing here. Exhale, look down. Hands on the block, bend your knees. Hands on your hips. Push into your feet. Inhale, you slowly rise. Grab your block. You turn your right foot in. You turn this way. Left foot in. Step to the top side. All right. Sun salutes A. Feet hip distance apart. Four corners of your feet pressing down. Kneecaps lift, thighs press back. Belly lifts. Side of your waist long, belly in. Rotate the biceps forward, soft elbows, chin up. Inhale, reach your arms up, press the palms. Exhale, bending at the knees, hinging at the hips, hugging your calves. Exhale, straightening your legs, keeping the belly in your thighs. Inhale, fingertips on the floor, reach your chest. Exhale, hands on the floor, step the right foot back. Heel up, thigh up, step the left foot back. Breathing here and breathing out. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, reach the right leg up, three-legged dog. Move forward to three-legged back. Keep that right leg lifted. Inhale here. Exhale, knee to nose, step it in. You place the block on the outside edge of the right foot. Roll the left heel down. You're going to use the same mechanics. Knee, open up. Wrist, shoulder, shoulder, wrist. Reach the top arm up. 
Feel the inner left knee lift up. The outside edge of the left foot. Keep the left arm lifting, look down. Exhale, you rise. Warrior two. You keep the right knee bent, you reach forward, you hand on the block, reach the top arm out and over your ears. You drag the right foot to the left foot, you lift the head, you look towards your thumb. You shoot the top arm up, you look down, you come back up into warrior two. You feel the back arm reach, you check. Feel the left inner knee wake up. You look over your right shoulder. You straighten the right leg. You feel the top of the right thigh hinge. You open up the palm, you reach far forward to keep the right waist so long until the hand goes to a block and you adjust the block. Wrists, shoulders, shoulders, wrist. And you breathe. You try not to lean into the block, but lift from the block. Exhale, look down, bend the front knee. Take on the back arm and the back leg. Rise up, warrior two. Open up the right palm, you reverse the warrior. Breathe. And then you come back to warrior two. And then you windmill the hands to frame the foot. You move the block to the side. You roll in the ball of the left foot. You step back with the plank. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, you can do this. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts from the left inner thigh. Push the mat, lift those forearms. Look forward, three-legged plank. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Step it forward. Roll the right heel down. Place the block on the outside edge of the left foot. Hand on the block, pale bone to the back of the right knee. Open up the chest so that left buttock scoops under and the pale bone reaches the back of the heel. Wrist, shoulders, shoulders, wrist. Inhale, look down. Exhale, you rise. Warrior two. Back knee lifts. Outside edge of the right foot. Dragging that left foot to the right foot. Breathing slowly. And then we're going to reach far forward. The left waist remains long. That left buttock swoops under. The left hand on the block. Wrists, shoulder, shoulder, wrists. Rotate the palm up and over. Breathe. Inhaling. Exhale. Top arm goes back up. You look down. Think of the back arm and the back leg. You rise. Warrior two. Straighten the left leg. You hinge. Top of the left thigh. Open up the chest. Reach up left arm. Hand on the block. I have a broken finger, so I can do that. Wrist, shoulder, shoulder, wrists. And then you breathe. Keep that left waist long. That left hip opening up, that right knee pressing back. Long breaths. Exhale, look down, bend the left knee. Inhale, you rise. Then you open up the chest by reversing the warrior. You breathe. Keep that left elbow bent. Breathe from flat thigh all the way. Long breaths. Back to warrior two. And then you windmill the hands to frame the foot. You're stepping forward this time, you move the block. Inhale, exhale, step forward. Inhale, reach your chest, hands on your shins, or fingertips on the floor. Exhale, bend your knees, fingertips on the floor, drop your head. Exhale, straighten your legs. And then inhale, your legs. Reach your arms up. Hands to prayer. Hands on the side. Add your Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, you reach. Exhale, step the left foot back. Step the right foot back. We'll stay in plank. The heels push back, the thighs push up, the belly lifts, the shoulders are over your wrists, you're looking forward. Inhale here, exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Move to plank, knee to nose. Step it through. Block on the outside edge, left heel down. Stability before movement. Instead of leaning to the right hand, come with your fingertips, lift the back, and then inhale, you rise. This time you straighten, you reach. Triangle. Hand can be your shin, use that to open up the chest. Shoot the top arm. Breathe. Breathe. 
you bend the knee. Forearm in your thigh, up and over. Then bring your left hand on your hip. You keep the chest open. You see that line? That's strong and straight, and you keep that there. You look at your right knee, you remove your block, just slightly forward, about six inches away from your pinky toe. And you start to uh, sample, shifting, so noticing that your wrists will be over your shoulders. You keep that right knee bent, you use your left bum, you shift, you use your left bum and the left inner thigh to lift that left leg up. Once the left leg is stable, you straighten the right leg. You keep reaching that left inner knee to the left inner thigh, and then you open up that right inner thigh much more. You rotate the chest, and then you shoot the top one up. And you breathe. You align and stack. And you extend through the four corners, five corners of your body. And you're gonna move into warrior two. You control the bend of the right knee. You're gonna find the edge of the left foot ceiling on the floor. You lift yourself up into warrior two. And you look beyond your right middle finger that extends all the way to that left middle finger. You're dragging your right foot to your left foot to feel strong. And then you reverse. Exhale, you wiggle the hands to frame the foot. You roll in the ball on the left foot. Lift that left thigh up. You step into plank. Two breaths. Inhale, the thighs press back, the heels push back. Exhale, you feel the widening of the collarbones. Inhale, you lift your head and your chin. From the tops of your thighs, exhale. Down dog. Adam Vashvanasana. Pressing every single finger down. The forearms lift. The ears roll, <laughs> the ears. The biceps between the ears roll them open to the front of the room. Finding your breath. Inhale with the left leg up. Moving forward to three legged plank. Inhale here. Exhale to two legs. Step three. Place the block on the outside edge of the left foot. Now roll your right heel down. Stability before movement. Tailbone to the back of the right heel. Inner left thigh rolls open. Scoop that buttock under. Open up the chest. Reach the top arm up. So you're mimicking warrior two already. Feel the right inner knee, the outside edge of the right foot, while the left knee stays. Look down. Inhale. You rise. Warrior two. Move past your middle finger. You soften through the shoulders. You dig deep into the left knee, but you feel the right inner thigh lift you up. This time you straighten the left leg. You lift the toes of both feet. You press the top of the left thigh. Reach, hand on the block. You can go lower. Wrists, shoulder, oops. Shoulders, wrist. It's a nice thing about having a teacher who looks at you. Those little adjustments, and in this case, you help yourself. Exhale, bend the left knee. Pick up the back arm of the back leg. You rise. You reach forward, forearm on your thigh. Reach the top arm up and over your ears. Right hand on your hip. Keep the chest open. Exhale, look down. Grab your block. Place it six inches away from your pinky toe. And you keep that back leg strong and straight and you slightly shift. And then you shift to the left knee and use your right bum to lift that right leg up. You lift from the right inner thigh. The left inner thigh rolls this way and the left big toe. And then you reach. You lift your head. And you shoot the top arm up. And you breathe. Going to warrior two, you bend that left knee. You feel the edge of the back foot seal. And then you lead to the back arm and the back leg as you come into warrior two. You open up the left arm, you reverse. And you breathe. And then bring your hands to frame the foot. You step into plank. Last plank for today. Inhale. Exhale, back 
Closing your eyes. Letting the head go. Keeping the knees bent, the heels reaching the floor, the thighs lifting up, the pushing of the mat, the forearms lift. And then you breathe in and out through your nose. And then last cycle of breath, lion's breath, you exhale through your mouth, let the tongue go. And then you bring your knees down, the big toes touch. Child's pose with forearms on the floor. Letting the forehead rest. Feeling the side ribs rest on the top of the thighs to give the lower back a little bit of a breathe. Just feeling how the hips feel. And can you breathe into the back lungs? Feeling that entire left side and right side fill up on the back body that you feel it all the way to the tops of the shoulders and the neck. And just allowing yourselves to breathe. And slowly rolling yourself up to sleep. And you're going to grab your strap. If you don't have a strap, you can just use your hands to grab it onto your feet. All right. This is better with a slippery floor. But anyway, grab into your strap. Notice how you sit. So you're going to sit tall. Draw the belly in. Flex your biceps. Draw it close to your chest. Inhale, lift, and then feel your belly on your thigh. Exhale, pull the heels of your feet away from you. Release the strap, and try to feel the belly on your thigh without arching your lower back. And then one more time, grab the strap closest to your feet. Flex your bicep, lift your chest. From the inner and outer arches of your feet, push the heels forward. Lift the belly, peel. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tops of your feet, press away from you from the balls of your feet. Flex your biceps, pull the heels of your feet, and then you fold. The last is you use the biggest muscle, the quads, to straighten the knee. And you breathe from your hamstrings. And then slowly draw your heels together. And then slowly release. All right. Releasing the blanket, releasing this. We're gonna light our backs. You're gonna release your ponytail if you had one. You're gonna hug your knees into your chest, rock from side to side. Keep your feet as wide as the mat, let the knees knock. And all you're gonna do is scoop your tailbone forward and back. So you're rounding your back without letting the back leave the floor. Just really scooping it, using the belly. So it's rocking, massaging the lower back. So go to the tips of the tailbones, massage it, and then scoop it forward. Oh. All right. Slowly, make your feet as wide as the mat. And then you're gonna windshield wiper both knees to the right. You're gonna lift the right ankle, press it from the outside of the left knee. You're going to extend the left arm. You're going to open up the right arm. You're going to use the weight of the right ankle to stretch through that left side as you look over your left shoulder. And you breathe. You can close your eyes. And very slowly release the leg. Shim your hips to the right, drop both knees to the left, left ankle on top of your right knee. And just allow yourself to feel that stretch from that right inner groin as you look over your right shoulder. Inhaling, exhaling. And then very slowly release the knee, release the legs. Forward and back again and 
the tailbone and then come into happy baby so the elbows are the inside the hands are on the outside of the feet and you rock you flex the biceps bring the knees close to your waist you use the flex of the biceps to try to straighten the legs and then you rock with your peace fingers grab your big toes pull the heels of your feet away from you then lengthen your legs away from you and then rock feel the inner thighs and then bring your feet together bend the knees your head and shoulders off the floor and then you're gonna grab your bolster you know place them underneath your legs you're gonna find your blanket and this is what I would do I would open it this way pick out your ponytail see where the arms will fall move everything away so that you don't have any distractions and then the edge of the blanket, I would fold it and snuggle in. And then I'm gonna find a way to let the shoulders sink, the elbows bend, the knees knock, and the inner thighs open and the feet lock. And you start to feel the body sink into the floor. Start to first wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes, move until you can find a state of stillness where the body's comfortable, where you feel you can rest. And then from there, start to let go of your yogic breath. Come into your natural, uncontrolled breath where you're watching the breath rather than controlling it. Where you're witnessing the thoughts rather than engaging it. And when you start to just see without participating, starting to soften the face, the jaw, the cheeks, releasing the lines in the forehead and starting to release the creases in the eyelids until you feel the eyeball sink into its socket. Feel the weight of the head sink into the floor. Feel the shoulders release through the weight of the arms. Feel the back body sink into the floor as you feel that length of your spine all the way to the tailbone sink and letting the muscles attached to all those vertebra relax. Feel the back of the hands, the back of the shoulders, the back of the head sink, the length of the spine all the way to the hips letting go. The inner thighs release the knees soft, resting into the bolster. The toes soft, the feet soft. And you start to feel the weight of the body sink further into the floor. You start to surrender. You start to let go. And you allow yourself to rest. Shavasana.
keeping the eyes closed. Starting to deepen your breath. Starting to bring your attention back into the room, into the present. Wiggling your toes, wiggling your fingers. And just starting to notice the sensations of the body. How the body feels. How you feel. Starting to lengthen your legs, pointing your toes, flexing your feet. Just bringing the arms up and over your head and getting yourself long. And you can lengthen one leg and the other leg and feel the length of the body from the center emanating and radiating across the spectrum of the body. Keeping the right hand overhead, bring the left hand in your bellies. Gently bend your knees into your chest and roll over to fetal position once more. Resting your head on your right arm, hips stacked. And notice the, in the proximity of the head and the heart, how close they are to each other and how deeply connected they are. The way we breathe affects the rhythm of our heart and the rhythm and the quality of our mind. Very slowly with your left hand, you press down into the floor. You gently press your hands and lift yourself up and come to any comfortable seated position Facing forward, hands on your thighs with your eyes closed. Pressing your hands to give you that extra lift from your belly to your chin. So you can feel the grounding of your sit bones and your ears over your shoulders, over your hips. Hands to prayer, thumbs to your sternum, to your breastbone. Lifting your heart, bowing your heads to your hand. And with gratitude to yourself for being the true teacher, for finding the opportunity to learn about yourself, for choosing to discover much, much more in a very confronting position to be alone and to see yourself with this absolute kindness and compassion to see that side of you that allows a sense of curiosity, the sense of adventure, and yet the sense of quietness. We lift our heart, we lift our head, we thank ourselves for this wonderful practice for yoga, for the ability to reconnect and connect with each other and with ourselves. We blink our eyes open. Namaste. Thank you. I'll see you again.